Let's go, let's go. We're gonna crush biceps, shoulders, triceps. We're gonna hit the abs. And of course, we're gonna sweat while we do that. Heavy dumbbells to your right, light dumbbells to your left. If you don't have dumbbells, you can still do this workout until you grab some. Let's get into it. All right, squad, we're gonna get into round number one. What we're gonna do, remember these are one minute sets in this 20 minute arms and abs workout. You're gonna go into a bear crawl position, bring the weight underneath you, and you're gonna do a bicep curl and then pass it over. Okay, the bicep curl, bring it in. The bicep curl, bring it in, okay? Then we're gonna go to, into a side plank press, but first things first, let's get into a bear crawl. Bicep curl, let's go. Pass it over, bear crawl hold, bicep curl. Again, core strong. And just work. If you want, you can go in the front. That works better for you. Try to maintain a strong neutral spine. And you'll really feel the core working. You can also go hammer curl. Hinge from the elbow. Last three. Last two. Last one. Now, we're gonna do a side plank with a press. You can use a lighter weight for this one. So go into a side plank. Don't stack your feet here. Hold up here and go. Hold it in position and just press from here. 30 seconds per side. Core strong, feel your shoulder shake. One more. Good. Switch sides. If you want to advance it, bring it under and press up. Strong position with your hips and shoulder. Flex your shoulder and tricep on the pressing arm. Come on. One more. Good. And you're gonna put the weight on your quads. Hold it there. Extend out one leg. Ready, go. Press that weight hard against your legs. And at the same time, press your shoulders into the mat and your low back into the mat and kick those legs out. Let's go. Again, this holding the weight in position puts more stress and fatigue into your shoulders and triceps. That's why it should be heavy. Keep your feet flexed when you come back to a neutral position. Ready? Feet down, press up. Here, ready, go. As you're pressing up, squeeze the dumbbell as hard as you can. Keep your elbows to your side. Keep going. Back flat to the mat. Shoulders flat to the mat. Your head's not moving. Flex the triceps, press to the top. A 
50 or 60 pound dumbbell here instead of a 35 or 30 would be amazing. Two, one. All right, round number one is done. Just like that. So again, a nice little warm up style set. Number two is we're gonna do a bicep curl superset. So take your heavy weights. And we're gonna do sevens for 21s. Okay, seven, seven, seven. So I want hammer curls first. Ready, same time, go. One, two, control, three, four, five. Try to keep the shoulders locked in. Six, seven, good. Now, seven on your left side. Regular curls, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. Seven on the right side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now keep your weights like this so your knuckles are forward and then bring them to the front for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Keep the weights in your hand, guys. Step back like this. Here, two flies, just halfway, and reset. Other side, bend your wrists a little bit. And the goal with these is to slow the weight down when it's dropping back towards your legs, okay? Let's go. Back, feel your deltoids, side of those shoulders. Told you, doesn't take much, does it? Heavy weights, key. One more each side, one more set. One, two. Last one, come on. Good, now put these here, back to your right side actually, so we know where they are. You're gonna do a single arm plank with your lighter weights, like this, into a kickback. I want you to take a little break in between each. Ready? Three, two, one, plank up, kick back, hold, and go. Up, kick it, reset, and go. And if you have to put the knees down, take a break in between, that's what you do. Core tight, triceps on. Stay with it, keep going. And rest, last one, like this. Take your small weight, move the mic, hold your legs up straight, and go. Light or heavy, whatever you decide. Come on. Keep 
keep going. If you have to go this way with your legs, then reach over, you can. 10 seconds. Very good, abs on fire now? They should be. Bring it up, coming up. What we're going to do is a V-set superset, a V-set superset. So you can take your lower weights here. I'll go from the side. You're gonna do, keep your feet down. One, two, one. Two, okay, let's go. Keep the weights together. Over, over, press, press. Over, over, press. You gotta flex your core hard, guys. Two, press, press, let's go. Flex, flex, shoulders, shoulders, core shoulders, core shoulders, core shoulders. Core shoulders, come on. Come on, fight through it. One more. Go right to your back. My abs are gonna seize up. What we're gonna do, keep this foot down, come up here for 10 reps. Don't do it fast because I don't want you to jam up your back. Think control. Here, go. One, foot down on the right side. Two, foot up on the left. Five, 10 reps. This is six. Eight, nine, and 10, switch sides. Left foot out, right foot up, go, 10. Try to touch the knee. Oh, control, five, ooh, it burns good. Six, feel that. Eight, nine, 10, good. In five seconds, we're gonna do bicycles, but again, control with a little more speed, left to right, right to left. Ready? And go, 10, or sorry, 20, 19. Ten, nine, eight, Three, two, one. Ah, wow. That's what you want though. You want your abs to feel like they're gonna seize. That's what I'm saying when you have to push a little bit harder. We're gonna do standing reverse curls. Let's use one dumbbell and tight. And then what we're gonna try and do here is just hold them this way first. So just normal dumbbell position how you would normally hold this from the side, palms facing each other. Okay. I want to fatigue the biceps first for about 30 seconds and then we'll grab the other weight, other weights. If you only have one set, just use one or continue to go with this one. Good, now drop this. Grab your two lighter ones. Let me turn around in circles and do reverse curls. We don't do a lot of these in the gym because it doesn't give you the same pump in your biceps, but it does a lot for your forearms. It's biceps too, of course. Six. Five, four, three, two, 
And one, very good. Weights here, left is light. We're gonna do two push-ups and two knee taps for your last minute in round number three, not four. So control, so it goes like this, two push-ups. Touch, touch. And again, if you have to rest in between, you rest in between, but your goal is to gain stamina and strength that you continuously outwork me. That's your goal. Ready? Three, two, one, two push-ups. Let's go. Control, guys. Stay with it. Try not to stop. Feel the abs. Two push-ups. Ah! And rest. Now you get to feel your abs and what they feel like. Wow. When you're hooking up push-ups after you've done core. 30 seconds or 20 seconds before we hit up round number four. All right, again, heart rate elevated. You can feel those abs burn a little bit, even chest a little bit lit up. We're gonna go back to the floor. Can leave this mic to the side. Go into a bridge position so you're on your back. Take your, whatever weight you can manage, but try to use something heavy, okay? If you want, use one dumbbell. Like this, just don't let go, okay? What you're gonna do is go into a bridge and do a tricep extension. Now drop your bum and lift up as you extend the forearm. Now you can to use two single weights or one like this, but again, if your hands are tired, guys, Better to use two than one. Flex the triceps on the way up and the way down. Flex your glutes at the top and bottom of your bridge. Core stay strong, connect it to your glutes, to your butt. Just think about squeezing your elbows in as you extend the weight up. You're trying to squeeze a block between your elbows. Keep the toes pointed slightly in. Last one. Good, now, single arm press. What you're gonna do here is keep your legs up if you can and press, go. Feel your triceps. Feel your core, 30 seconds per side. All the way down if you need to, or you can stop a little bit before you hit the floor to get a little more. Back is flat to the mat or floor. Switch sides, legs reset. Hands to the floor on the opposite side. Go. Challenge your leg position. Come on, guys. You're doing good. Welcome to challenge. Stepped in because you stepped up to do this workout. 20 minute abs and arms. 
arms and abs. Last one. Good. Now, slowly drop that weight. Bring it to your feet. What we're gonna do is walkouts, but guys, please be careful to make sure your abs are not compromised so you don't feel your lower back giving it out on you. Walk out. Hold this. Try to walk back and bend your legs if you have to. This mat's not working for me. Walk out. Hold. And then walk back. Again, don't rush. Don't rush on these, take your time. Big reach. Core has to light up. Drive your toes into the ground, your big the bottom of your big toe. Bring it back. Take your time. Push your bum back to lift up your torso. Two more. Great stuff, guys. Bring it back. We only need 30 seconds for our next piece. Walk out one more. And now lower your knees. Guys here, max, let's bring it back some, max kneeling push-ups. Don't laugh. Ready? Go. You'll see. Told you. Feel that? Come on. Chest and triceps. Aim for 20. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now we're going to finish this with a plank for one minute in three, two, one. Hold. Hold. Not everything about abs has to be insanely dynamic. As a matter of fact, building your core typically is more effective by moving less instead of moving more. Your nervous system needs to recognize when it has to engage in rotational patterns, fast movement patterns, but the strength from your core comes with isometrics, static strength, more than not. Deadlift squats, that's a bit different, but there's still isometric components to that. Three, two, one, good. Now, let's do one more bonus piece on top of the bonus to get your lower abs to fire. Tap and press, ready, go, 20. 19. Go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. And there you go, squat. A 20 minute arms and abs workout for men here on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Boxing requires a lot of endurance and strength in your biceps, triceps, and shoulders. So don't be afraid to lift some weights. And join this channel as a member if you want Nate Bauer Elevated Workouts, where I just released audio elevated hybrid boxing workouts, which are incredible, highly entertaining, and along with hype as well. Two powerful workouts now available for you at Napower Elevated and on this channel as a member. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you warriors for the next workout.